Hello, today we will be talking about the Prismacolor Colorless Bonder in pencil form. Um, so, yes, this is in pencil form. There is also a marker form, but I will discuss that in a different video. So stay tuned, subscribe, and look for that video. Um, so first of all, what is the Prismacolor Colorless Blender? Um, well, pretty much it's just the wax of a colored pencil that Prismacolor makes without any pigment in it. So it's pretty much a Prismacolor colored pencil, but with no color. Um, and the name is a little misleading because many people will think that they can just pick this up and it'll magically make all their pencils and uh, blend together perfectly. And I'm sad to inform you, it won't. Um, that The only way you will achieve that is with technique and time learning those skills. So I'm going to show you what it does do, and then you can decide if you need this or you don't need it. So first I'm going to lay down some color. So just using two shades of purple. And I'm just putting really light coats on um, because... Uh, that's just slopping it down real fast. So light coats. So as you notice, you can really see the uh, tooth of the um, paper there. And if you don't want that, you can use the Prismacolor Colorless Blender to smooth that out. So I'm just going to apply it on top of that. And you can see it kind of reduces it, and the harder you press, the better it does that. So, there you go. It kind of just fills in all the tooth. It fills in any gaps I kind of just didn't get because I did put it on very sloppily. So, if you are coloring really fast and you want to fill in some areas, you can use a pencil to do that. So, that is very cool. Um, so, as you saw, it did smooth out the texture a lot. So, um, it almost acts as a varnishing if you want to add some areas where there's no texture to it or add like a shine, you can use the pencil to do that. So that's very cool. But that's pretty much what it does. It doesn't do crazy much. It doesn't like magically make them blend. And if you do press too hard on it, it does start to get the pictures looking a little ugly, which is never good. So I'm just gonna put a single pencil. I'll show you again, light coat. I'm leaving a lot more gaps this time so that I can show you how it smears it and fills in the gaps. So it doesn't fill in any of the big gaps, but the little ones with the tooth of the paper does. So it really works out better when you add uh, more one or more color or two or more colors. Sorry about that. Um, so it, I guess it does kind of blend it, but not much. Um, now, do you need this pencil? Most people won't. Um, it is very cheap, so I do recommend picking one up. They are really fun to play with. But you can actually use a white colored pencil. So here I have a Prismacolor white pencil, and it can do a very similar effect. So I'll lay down the same colors I had before. Uh, I might be doing this in a different order. I don't know but it should give you a similar effect. You get the idea. So now I'm just going to put down the white. And then the white does add, of course, a light color, but it also does that same smearing effect. Uh, you can decide which one you like more. Personally, I do like the Prismacolor Colorless Blender better how it looks, but that is just my opinion. Um, so really you don't need this. I doubt if you pick one up, I doubt you will use it often, but for the few projects you do use it, it is so cheap that I would recommend picking it up. So definitely something cool to pick out, pick up. I will give a link to it in the description. Uh, check out the rest of my channel, like the video and subscribe. Thank you.